Okay, it's Saturday the 27th. It's 8.26. I just dumped my kids off with their scout troop for a nice long five, six mile hike. They're gonna have a great time. Then I went and fueled up and this irritates me. I am so sure I hit unleaded and boy did it rack up and then I look at the thing and it's, I had accidentally hit the super like like super premium like ultra ultra uber good supposedly baloney expensive gas instead of the regular I have not finished my coffee yet so I assume I, I assume that that is uh, part of the reason. Harley Davidson mug. Um, I'm gonna chug this, and then I'm gonna go see if I can't find some new pajama shorts that are even relatively close to my size. Cause I have been pulling the drawstring clothes on my smallest pajama pants. Um, for some time and it's, it's not working. I got rid of the athletic shorts I was using for pajama shorts, but I don't know if you know this, but Texas gets hot in the summer. We're going into hot weather now. It was only 63 degrees last night and I gotta have my blankets, which means I gotta have shorts. And it's looking like some of my pajamas, my pajama pants are going to have to go. Just because I'm still kind of changing size. I did not weigh in. I was in a hurry. I just fixed coffee, rounded up my kids and their stuff, and out the door. It's like breakfast burrito in face, in car, let's go. But given that we had to get across town and back out the other side of it, we made a good time. It's uh, it, it's been pretty successful. I let the scoutmaster know which kid has uh, recently gotten diagnosed with asthma and that they had their inhaler on them. So, like mine, it's super, super mild. It should not be a problem, which means it should also not be an excuse. It's like a couple of puffs before you get started. You should be fine completely fine because there's that and then there's a preventative it gets taken at bedtime every night so should be no issues there they should both be perfectly fine they will just they will get tired and they will start complaining but they've got water they've got pocket knives they've got compasses they are fine and now I get to go goof off I'm still dragging just a little bit from last night, but um, it's not as bad as usual on the second day. So I am really thinking that my um, walking and extra water after taking it probably helped quite a bit. Why is my arm talking? Oh. Birch box. Great. Alright. Time for shopping. Omni dinner. Asparagus. Steak slightly on the rare side. And whatever cheese and seasonings my mom added to these potatoes. Lots of butter too. It's 9.14 and I'm going to the store again. Because it's 9.14 and of course I'm going to the store again. Because somebody is out of peach tea. There's an over-the-counter medicine that's got to get picked up. And this is when I get told we don't have a plan for dinner tomorrow. Like, I went in 
to a department store earlier and bought pajama bottoms. I stopped at a grocery store on the way home from picking the kids up after their hike. And no point was this mentioned. Plan ahead. I swear. So that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn on some, probably some videos I find motivational and listen to those while I drive. Otherwise, it's going to be cabinet curiosities or yeah, I should check if there's a new episode of Lore or um, what else? I don't know. Probably George Strait. I've been on a George Strait kick lately. But here we go. Gotta get that bread. Sometimes, very literally, bread. Alright, it's 10.30. It's not quite. It's 10.29, but I'm home again. And, um, yeah, I picked up a different flavor of protein coffee. I think I'm gonna try to incorporate that in my morning routine now that the weather's getting a little warmer. Um... Iced coffee. Good stuff. Grab some caramel apple snack bars that are like a granola bar, but they're only 100 calories. So if I combine the protein coffee with the granola bar, I think I'm pretty well in the good. Whatever. Where breakfast is concerned. It's kind of balanced. It's coffee, but I get to eat. Or have to eat, so. Um... Just dealt with my snarky teenager. Man, what a day. Um, I got talked into spending money at McDonald's. That was interesting. I don't normally do that. Yeah. That'd be difficult. The door's locked. Give me a second. I don't normally do that, but uh, after a hike that long... It was fine. Nuggets. Now I get to try out my new pairs of pajama shorts. They're so short. Size 4 slash 6. It's 12 12 and I haven't done my skincare. And I'm in a lot of pain. And everything is just awful because it is. Um, so I said earlier that I wasn't dragging as hard as most days following, you know, the second day of uh, coming down off these meds. Well, it just, it's gotten worse. And that could be from having used it previously in the, in the month. Because every time I use it, it's not like a month apart, it's harder to come off of it. This stuff is dangerous, guys, and prescriptions. Just because your doctor will give you something does not mean it's good for you. Okay? It's whether or not it's better for you than just dealing with the problem on its own. And sometimes it's a toss-up. So, I, you know what? I may even skip my skincare tonight. Blasphemy. Today was a mess and a half. Um... The kids enjoyed the hike, and then they got home cranky, of course. Despite the fact that I told them, just go on the hike. It's not as bad as it sounds. Five miles isn't really that bad. You're young. You'll bounce right back. I know it's an early morning, but I'll get you whatever you want for lunch afterwards. And, uh, boy, did I. Um, I don't, I don't buy stuff at McDonald's these days because I was using the app for a good long time and then I had this evening where someone in the Bronx charged 30 bucks worth of an order to me. I had, I, I could see it as the order was like getting filled and it's like, yeah, pick it up at the counter. And I'm like, no, 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 don't charge my card for this. This is not me. Don't, uh, you know, I've never been to New York. I've never been east of the Mississippi River. I could not possibly have been 
Mm. If you can access my GPS info to tell me where your closest McDonald's is, you should know that my phone is not in New York when this order is made. Right? Well, I'm putting in all kinds of complaints going, look, 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 you, you cannot be doing this because um, that's you're pulling 30 bucks from my account. Didn't authorize this in any way. What are you doing? Can you cancel this? Can you stop this? I don't have any, you know, emergency. This is not me button. And instead of being concerned about the fact that fraud was being committed, the help section wanted to know what version of the app I was running before they would even talk to me. So I uninstalled the bank, the app. Um, I went to my bank and what? I got a brand new debit card that day. And McDonald's very rarely sees my face ever since. Because that is what you do when corporations don't listen. You talk with dollars. And I guess social media. Burger King's been good though. Sonic has been good. What a burger. In and out. No problem. So now that I'm done trashing a major corporation with my totally honest, that is exactly what happened thing. Try me. Um, yes, nuggets were had, fries were had. I said it was fine. I almost um, didn't trust them with my card again and just insisted on using cash, but I didn't. Uh, sushi was had and... I got talked into buying ramen and chicken and dumplings because apparently there's something their dad does with this combination of chicken and dumplings and ramen. I don't know. They eat. Teenagers, they just, they eat everything. It's fine. So, yes, multiple store runs. I'm annoyed. But this did give me an opportunity to take a peek at whether or not the local health section has this iced coffee powder, the chike stuff. And it does. So I can get that at my local grocery store. Yay. H-E-B's the best. Um, but I'm exhausted. I, I don't want to get up early tomorrow. Uh, somehow I made my step count. That's two days in a row of making my step count without trying to, and I don't know what's up. I don't know what's happening. It's confusing me. Uh, since I wasn't able to weigh in this morning, I'm going to make sure I do that as per my usual tomorrow morning. So, track what's going on. I kind of estimated my dinner just to make sure that my calories were high enough. And I was just like, whatever. I don't even think the asparagus is on there. I think I had a couple of bottles of coconut by that didn't make it on there. I feel, I really feel like I could fall over right now and my battery's almost dead. So I am done for the night. I'm going to go crash. Thanks for sharing my day with me.